Not too long ago, Martin announced a ton of new options in their Modern Deluxe series, and they've finally started showing up. This is the very first one that we're going to get. This is the 0028 Modern Deluxe. Very cool little guitar. Can tell you about it. Stick around. How's it going, y'all? My name is Cooper Greenberg here at Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like and comment on the videos, turning notifications on so you know when all the next Modern Deluxes show up because there's some I'm really excited for. One more thing, podcast, Fretboard Confessional in the description below. It's a fun time. Go check it out. But like I said... Martin has done a whole bunch to revamp, or not necessarily revamp, but expand the Modern Deluxe series. Um, most of you probably have seen the D28 Modern Deluxe, Triple O28 Modern Deluxe, OM28 Modern Deluxe, really cool guitars, but they have added a whole new swath, including the one I've got right here. Um, some to look forward to will be the Triple O28, which is gonna be very cool. Um, they're doing, a, I believe, a Triple O42, um, a D45, they've got a few 12 fret models, they got a single O 12 fret 28 and a double O 12 fret 28 and that's actually an interesting segue into the double O 28. This is a 14 fret double O 28. We will also see the 12 fret version. Now the double O 28 is kind of an interesting piece of Martin history because um, when it was first introduced it was sort of on the transition from 12 fret to 14 fret as I, um, you know, as I believe the story goes. Now the 12 fret version, yes, it's a double O body width, but um, it's much more extended. I mean, you've seen it. We had the uh, vintage series that had the slotted headstock. There's a lot to be said about how cool those old school 12 fret guitars were. Um, they ended up moving, you know, only doing the 14 fret double O um, in, you know, they did it in the 17 and the 18 and stuff like that. But this is an interesting piece. Typically, everybody's familiar with the triple O 28. Um, I really like the 12 fret stuff. We will be seeing a double O 12 28 by the end of the year. So stick around for that. I don't assume we'll have them both at the same time because these are really hard to get a hold of. Um, but if you don't know about the Modern Deluxe series, it takes the sort of building blocks of the standard series Martin guitars and just ups the luxury and the quality a little bit more. The big change is gonna be the VTS top versus the non-VTS top. Now VTS, vintage tone system, some might call it torrefaction, some might call it thermally aged, but this is a heat treated piece of Sitka spruce, not Adirondack. If you want heat treated VTS Adirondack, check out our video on the 0016 Streetmaster. But Sitka spruce top, really beautiful um, top grade Sitka with really nice silking. Not sure if you can see it, but um, it is a beautiful piece of spruce that has been heat treated to um, sort of emulate the tone of a much older guitar. Um, the ebony on the bridge and the fingerboard, so that's classic, but it's also just specifically on this one, really nice, somewhat uh, a little bit of figuring in the grain. You'll notice that on all the modern deluxes, it will have a red dot on the bridge pins. These are liquid metal bridge pins, and it is also accompanied by a carbon fiber bridge plate on the inside of the guitar that you know minimizes vibration loss. That's the whole goal of this guitar is to take the building blocks of a perfect acoustic guitar and you know just expand up the quality a little bit, up the tone a little bit in terms of you know sustain volume. Um, and the vibration loss is, is a big reason why they make changes in the bracing. Um, that's kind of the ultimate goal, taking the classic flat top X braced acoustic guitar and just doing little changes to make it sound better and better. Um, the bracing in this is going to be scalloped VTS Adirondack bracing. So you do get Adirondack on the bracing that has been heat treated as well. Um, really nice herringbone purfling and the binding is going to be European flame maple. It's not vintage white or ivory as it might look to you. This is wood binding, really pretty. Um, HD zigzag on the back strip, which if you watched our custom video, you know that um, beautiful spruce with rosewood back and sides and an HD zigzag is my favorite combo. So really nice look there. Um, you do get the Modern Deluxe appointments of Waverly Open Gear gold tuners. If you can tell, the frets are also gold and you get the abalone 
inlaid Martin Scripps logo. Um, really just, you know, little stuff like a diamond volute, you will get that on certain standard series guitars. But just every little thing about this, yes, it's classic. If you glance at it, it's going to be Martin 0028. But what's going on, on the inside with the wood quality, the VTS, the bracing with the Adirondack, carbon fiber bridge plate with the liquid metal pins. I made a comment on a video long ago that I didn't see the benefit in the liquid metal pins versus normal end pins. I got absolutely ripped in the comment section, and since then I have done more research. Yes, I get it. I get why they're better. I get why they're cool. It is a nice, just as a side note, you can buy these bridge pins separately. So if you have yourself a 0028 uh, standard or a triple O or anything, any Martin guitar that you want to add a little bit of the modern deluxe flair to, you can get the liquid metal pins. It's a nice little upgrade in terms of sustain and volume and all that. They're just quality components, um, really beautiful guitar. I am a fan of smaller bodies. I really like the 12 fret versions and I rarely get to play a, a double O and a 14 fret. Every once in a while we get a 28 or an 18 in. Really cool guitars, but there's something special about this one. We actually have um, a lady that is looking for a guitar right now. Her name's Deb, if you're watching this. Yes, this is the one that I sent you the other day. Um, she ended up going in a different direction because she wasn't looking for a modern deluxe. But this is perfect for finger picking, kind of what she was looking for. Blues pickers and everything, it's going to be comfortable and it's going to be awesome. So this one's got the volume, but it's got the light touch and the quick response. It's a really nice sweet spot guitar. Played a couple things on it, want you to hear it. 0028 Modern Deluxe, check it out. <laughs>
There you have it, a little bit on the 0028 Modern Deluxe. I will tell you that I am, you know, I did get to play all of the new Modern Deluxe at NAMM this year. I said in our some of our last videos I was going to stop harping on about NAMM. Now I finally get it when Chris brings up NAMM, every, uh, every possibility that he gets. But I did get to play all the Modern Deluxe at NAMM. I think that they've made some really nice choices for the models to include. Obviously, they're doing all the crowd pleasers with the D45 and 0018 and everything like that. But some of the lesser known or lesser appreciated models like the 0028, the 12 fret versions, uh, you know, the 0042, yes, they're extravagant, they are luxurious, and they're out of many people's price ranges that are looking for a great acoustic guitar. However, I do think all the upgrades, the feel, if you're looking for something in this price range, which is, as the time of shooting this video, about $4,200, I think it's $4,199, um, this will be a lifetime guitar, so I think that's kind of the goal with any guitar above a certain price from either a reputable manufacturer or a small luthier. If you're going to put that much money into it, you should, unless you're one of these flipper guys, and we know you, but um, if you're a player like many of us in the store and you're making the plunge to invest in a guitar like this, with the right maintenance, it's going to last generations and generations. And this is a really nice in-between with already VTS kind of heat-treated top, so you get the opening up of an older guitar. It's a brand new guitar with beautiful appointments that have not been available in vintage guitars, so modern deluxe. It's got the vintage style neck. I think it's the vintage deluxe neck. So it does pay tribute to the classic, modern features, um, and incredible tone right out of the box, or right out of the included hard shell case. So let us know what you think. If you're interested in the 0028 modern deluxe, like I said, we got this one, not sure when another is going to come in, but I do know that some more of the new Modern Deluxes will be here by the end of the year, so keep your eyes open, keep your notifications on if you're like me, and really the, the cat daddy is going to be the 001228. Fantastic guitar, keep your eyes open for that. And let us know if you have been wanting one of the new ones, if you want one of the already announced you know, previous year Modern Deluxes, we can get one for you. If we don't have one in stock, we'll put on order. And uh, Martin's just been better and better about getting us stuff on time or early. Very, very cool uh, to do some awesome stuff with Martin this year. They hit it out of the park with the new Modern Deluxes. Let us know what you guys think. If you want to learn more, alamomusic.com is where all the specs are going to be. Um, we'll see you next time.